That's what's going on. Possible flu outbreak. State and local officials are present. This is Major Alex Carnahan. He'll be running port. I'm not going to shake your hand. Nothing personal. It's a lot of important people just to talk about flu shots. One of the hallmarks of this new golden age of television is the end of days, or everything falls apart show. It makes sense, playing into our sense of paranoia in this era of terror, and a yearning for the simplicity of survival in a time of technology and complexity. At its best, you have the likes of The Walking Dead, where the zombie apocalypse strips us down to the essence of who we are, what we truly value, and just how far we will go. That's the aim of the deadly virus-driven containment, which debuts on The CW on April 19th and is based on a Belgian series. But besides its Atlanta, Georgia setting and a large ensemble cast, the often overly methodical 13-episode drama from EP's Julie Plech, who created The Vampire Diaries, and Game of Thrones director David Nutter lacks the thrills and tension that fuel the compelling blockbuster AMC series based on Robert Kirkman's comics. We know for a fact that he's contagious. What is it? Well, that's part of the problem, Major. It's not currently presenting as anything we can identify. Not that containment doesn't try. With obvious elements of the Steven Soderbergh-directed Contagion from 2011, containment weaves in the latest Middle East turmoil with Syrian and ISIS elements, and the security state as a mysterious fatal disease forces the government to fence in parts of Atlanta to prevent a greater health disaster. To quote one character, if we let anyone out, we're risking the lives of everyone in the city. I can't let you through there, I'm sorry. My girl is in there. So is mine. Which means families, friends, and vital knowledge are separated as disorder, clampdowns, and perhaps a larger conspiracy are at work. Part of the lag of containment is that so much of the David J.C. and Claudia Black of the original's lead cast show happens in what feels like almost real time, which is a nice tactic, but one that soon plays itself out as the series moves to the point where it needs a strategy in this modern day hell on earth with what seems like too many moving and sometimes sick parts. I'm afraid I must declare the virus highly contagious and fatal. Now, perhaps that prescriptive approach emerges in later episodes, but of the nearly half of the first season that I saw, no such relief was in sight. Obviously, an outbreak like that depicted in containment would be overwhelming on many levels, but on the small screen here, much of what could be worthy narrative was just flushed out. I'm Dominic Patton for Deadline Hollywood.